Hello. For today, I'm going to be teaching you how to sew. Now, I'm not going to get into anything too difficult, but I've got my husband's belt here. It's the belt to his robe, and parts of it are coming undone. So I'm going to show you how to sew, and we'll stitch this together. Follow me to the sewing machine. Okay, first what I'm going to do, if you can see, some of the strings have tied themselves around the robe. And then over here, there's a section where the edging needs to be restitched. There's more right here that needs to be restitched. So first, I'm going to cut the strings. And as you can see right here, the belt is coming apart. So I'm going to take pins and pin that back together. This will help me know exactly where I'm sewing here in a little bit. And as you can see, I've got many strings here and I'm just going to cut them all away. And now I'm pinning the fabric and I'm making sure that the two ends that are fraying are folded in so that way I have a nice neat fold and I don't have to worry about the fabric fraying anymore. This little section seems to be stitched up so that's good. And right here you can see this part is stitched and then this part is not. So this is the part that I'm going to be pinning. And right here, if I hold this up close, you can see where it's fraying. So I'm going to tuck all of that in. So that way it's a nice neat fold on both sides. And then here's where I'm pinning the fabric. And then I will be stitching right along here. And then pinning the fabric in place. Now it's time to sew. Now the first thing you want to do is plug in your machine, put the foot pedal on the bottom, turn it on, and first I'll show you how to thread your bobbin. So the bobbin is down here. Your thread goes here on this, then your bobbin fits on this right here. And when you're threading the bobbin, you want to push that into the right and pull this knob on the far right, pull that out. Now I'm going to wrap the thread around this screw. Let me see if I can zoom in here. And then it's going to wrap around the bobbin over here. And now I'm going to press the foot pedal and this is going to spin and it's going to thread the bobbin. Now once your bobbin is threaded, push that back to the left, push the knob in on the far right side, push that back in, cut your thread, and your bobbin is ready to go. Now you want your bobbin to go into this gadget and you want to make sure your thread is going up and over like this and then it will fit in so make sure it's going from you want to make sure it's going from back around to the front so that it's curled on top and then push it in and then right here is where you'll pull the thread through the little crack around and now it's 
right inside this little slit. You're going to pull this little lever and hold on to that and then push this in. And you want to make sure it snaps into place with the little arm in that little crevice right there. Now with the thread on top, I'm going to take it around the first metal arm on the right hand side and thread it down, back up, around the, the arm on the left hand side and back down. Now there is a little hook right here on the left hand side. The thread goes around the back side of the hook and hooks in. And then put your thread through the hole of the, the eye of the needle. Pull that through like that. And then I like to hold on to my thread as I turn. You'll be turning this knob, but you're going to hold on to the thread here. Now to pull the thread from the bobbin up on top, I'm going to turn this knob on the right hand side while holding on to my thread and I'm going to turn this facing me, so from the top side rolling towards me. And that moves the needle up and down. And now, and now here is my second thread from the bottom right alongside my thread from the top. Then just push both of those threads underneath the foot. Close everything up. And now we're ready to sew. This is the first section that I'm going to be sewing where my pins are. So I'm going to place the fabric underneath the foot. And then there's a lever back here. Back here is the lever and I will be pushing this down and now the foot is down. Next, this is the reverse button. I'm going to hold this down and you want to reverse your stitches. I like to do about half an inch to an inch worth of stitches going backwards before you go forwards. So hold down your reverse button, now put your foot on the pedal and go backwards. And now, time to go forwards. Make sure you pull out the pin before you sew over it. And once you're done stitching the section that you need to stitch, press your reverse button and do the same thing you did at the beginning. So push down the reverse, put your foot on the pedal, and go backwards. And that just helps to secure the stitch. Now I'm using the knob on the right hand side to lift my needle up so I can lift up the foot. And now cut your threads. So put the fabric underneath the foot. I like to put the edge of the fabric with the edge of my foot, which is this metal piece right here. And lower the foot, pull out the pin, Press the reverse button, go backwards, and now go forward. And once you're done with the section that you want to stitch, hit the reverse button and go backwards. and cut your threads.
Another tip, if you haven't noticed, when I sew, I have my left hand back here to hold the fabric and guide it from the back side, while my right hand is here holding the front side to guide in the straight line. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask and subscribe.